These petri dishes we're going to use for a mini acid rain activity here. And we've set up some bromo cresol green in both of them and little droplets all the way around. And I'm going to mix two chemicals in the center of the bromo cresol green. Now the bromo cresol green is blue under basic conditions. And it'll be green under neutral and yellow under acidic. So I'm going to put some potassium nitrate here in the center here. And here in the center here. And we're going to add just a little bit of sulfuric acid to it. And then cover that so we're not breathing any of it. And do the same thing over here. And cover that as well. Now, in the two petri dishes, you should note one small difference between the two. In this one, there's a big chunk of calcium carbonate powder that's in this one. And so, right here, you can see that. And so, here we're going to see this acid rain cloud generator. You're not seeing anything bubbling or anything taking place. But there is a, a gas being produced, a nitrous oxide gas, that's going to now go throughout the petri dish and it's going to affect the bromo cresol green, changing it from its basic condition into its acidic form where it's yellow. And you're also going to see this taking place in the midst of some limestone. So the calcium carbonate there, limestone, is often present at the bottom of lakes. So for instance in Michigan, a lot of the lakes have limestone beds, and so when we experience acid rain, that limestone is capable of neutralizing that, that acid produced, whether it's nitrous or nitric or sulfurous or whatever. That can help uh, stabilize the pH of the, of the lake, helping the aquatic systems in there. So what we're going to see is you're going to see these color changes occurring, but there's going to be a protected zone over here by this limestone. So now when we check in, we can see that this one is mostly turned into the acidic form. We're now going to add some ammonia to it. And this one over here, we still have this protected region over here where it's still strongly basic. So now we're going to go ahead and take our portal, open it. We're going to add a drop of ammonia to the inside of this container. We'll go ahead and rotate that out of the way. You can quickly see that that's now changing back from the acidic form to the basic form as that basic gas now travels throughout the petri dish. We'll go ahead and do the same thing over here in this one. And now we're pretty much all back at the basic form with these now transitioning to the green. Quickly they'll be back to the blue.